Hey, what we're looking at here is the insides of my uh, Chinese lathe mill drill combination. What would normally be here is the adjustments for uh, feed speed. We're doing threading and such like that. I've made some modifications and uh, I'm going to put it together. This is the assembly plate that holds all the gear clusters and allows you to adjust for different gear settings. I'm going to go away for a bit and give it a paint job. I've added this tab to it so that I can do uh, left hand threads. This is my hope. Anyway, I'm going to go away and give it a paint job and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, it's all painted up and looking pretty. Uh, assembly. First thing that goes together is your uh, adjustable gear arm. And then it can be fit into its position. This part was created to add an extension to get the gear, the idler gear, to mesh with this main gear. Then we can assemble the other gears or put the other clusters together. Now this particular pattern is for 40 tooth on high speed and 20 tooth on low speed. And this is how it would mesh to go normally. This assembly, putting in an idler, it gives me the capacity to do left-handed threads. Not that I'll do a lot of them, but I wanted the ability to be able to do so. And this is the idler assembly. turns the gears in reverse. As this lathe was built with no half nut engagement, uh, threading is a manual affair. So I created this device to make it a little bit easier on the manual. All it does is pull the inner cone into a expanding thing and we have a crank capacity to turn the lathe head. Now 
Now, if I get set up, we'll see if we actually get left-handed threads. Back in a moment. Here we go. We have a thread happening. We definitely have a left hand thread. I'm calling this a success. Thanks for watching.